Research and development are key to reaching the 2020 goals of a more competitive, sustainable and Earth-friendly Europe. The European Union spends billions every year funding R&D, and at a European Parliament hearing, EPP lawmakers are among those calling on the EU to speed the process, cut the red tape, in order to meet those goals. EPP lawmaker Maria da Graça Carvalho led the hearing of the European Parliament's Committee on Industry, Research and Energy to discuss her motion. Among her criticisms of the European Commission's current funding process, it's too bureaucratic, it has a low risk tolerance and is overly focused on result-based funding. Imagine that you are looking for a new vaccine. The description of all the, the product is going to be very difficult. Uh, and even achieving uh, a result that says that this vaccine is not good in this case can be a very important result. Uh, so we have to be more flexible. The so-called Framework Program 7, with a 50 billion euro budget over seven years, has already aided some 7,000 projects, from cancer treatment to anti-pollution, solar cells to robotics, water management to nuclear fusion. But Carvalho says the process is far too slow, taking as long as 500 days to get funding. She wants that cut to a maximum of six months. Everything has to be faster uh, because research, uh, you need faster results, is a very is a changing world and we cannot have very complicated, very long procedures uh, in this uh, approval of uh, the research and innovation projects. Carvalho wants what she calls a pragmatic shift to simplify the process. A petition of 13,000 researchers has called for as much. Financial control, Carvalho says, should be primarily aimed at safeguarding funds and combating fraud. It should be more risk tolerant. Joining in her call is Christopher Hull, head of the European Association of Research and Technology Organizations, or IRTO. He wants to see more precise, consistent and transparent rules of procedure for audits. The Commission needs to streamline the process, he says, or Europe will fall behind. If we don't do something, it's going to hold it back very seriously because uh, the objectives are really uh, very ambitious. I mean, if we're serious about going for innovation and not just research, and if we're serious about tackling the grand challenges, then we're going to have to, A, reorientate the way we do a lot of our research programming at the moment and our research funding. Um, and if we don't get that right, uh, this is all going to backfire. Hull says researchers are leaving Europe and will continue to go if they can't get the funds they need, giving more generous countries a competitive edge. There is a brain drain out of Europe. It's been there for a while. There, as far as I can see, there are no signs that it's reversing, so that's another reason to get it right. Carvalho also wants to see the European Commission establish an integrated and user-friendly online system and that video conferencing should replace face-to-face -face meetings also to speed the process. There are plenty of factors beyond the EU's control in achieving its 2020 goals, economic crises for one, but lawmakers here say there's one factor that is firmly within the EU's hands, and that is the power to fund R&D quicker, bolder, and more effectively. For more information on our group's activities on this and other issues, please have a look at our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.